and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie, which is all about integrating your IT devices with your preferred smart home ecosystem. Well, in today's video, we will install this Zemi Smart 3.0 Zigbee switch into Apple HomeKit using the Convi 2 stick. Now, there are tons of plugin tutorials that I have done, so please do take a look and don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button to always follow along. Anyways, for this to work with Apple HomeKit, we will need one, the Zemi Smart 3.0 Zigbee switch. I'll be using the two gang uh, one, but it's also applicable to the one and three gang as well. Two, the Zigbee hub. We will be using the Combi 2 stick. You can also do the same with SmartThings hub or with the Philips Hue. And I'll show you at the end of the video on how to do that. And three, your DIY platform. We will be using this hoops out of the box and you can also do it with Homebridge as well. Now, I've broken down the video into four parts with the timestamps in the description. They are one, a quick product overview, two, the product installation, three, the device integration to the Zigbee Hub as well as HomeKit, and four, integrating with uh, Philips Hue or with Samsung SmartThings Hub. So let's not waste time like I always say and let's jump into this tutorial. All right, a little bit product overview of the Zigbee uh, switch. It comes into this uh, very simple uh, white box uh, uh, with two screws and a pamphlet of how to install the product. A very, very good finish to the product and also very good play to the buttons as well. Uh, I kind of liked it uh, and it goes very well with your current uh, uh, setup in your rooms or living room or bedroom. So it, it fits very well uh, into your house. Also, previously Zemi Smart also came out with another model that was just Wi-Fi and uh, they look the same. The only thing is behind the product, you will see different content uh, printed onto the device. Uh, that's the only thing. There is no way of saying which one is Wi-Fi or which one is Zigbee. So you want to make sure whenever you buy these devices and you mix them between Wi-Fi and Zigbee, uh, you identify them correctly. Okay, so a very simple uh, product uh, overview. There's nothing much to say it. And now uh, let's go into the uh, product installation. Now, before going into any installations, you want to make sure you are safety uh, first. You are following all of the guidelines. So make sure you wear some rubber footing. And also before you go ahead with the installation, you want to make sure you want to turn off the main supply once you turn off the main supply, you want to make sure you want to go uh, to that outlet that you want to replace and take an electrical tester and see if there's no power uh, passing through. Once that is complete, you want, you want the installation is very straightforward. There is no rocket science to be known. Um, remove the, your existing uh, switch, put this uh, switch in. So since it's a two gang, uh, there will be one live, one neutral, one ground and two outputs for the switches. Once the switch, uh, uh, installation is complete and you put back the, uh, the switch in and you turn on the main supply, you will see that the uh, device can be controlled by hitting onto it. Uh, uh, but also you will see two small blue lights on, meaning that the device is ready to be pet. Now, the device has been installed and it's in uh, pairing mode. Now the first thing before we go and expose it to Apple HomeKit, you want to put it into your Zigbee. Uh, you want to connect it actually with your Zigbee hub. So what we're going to do first is we're going to access the uh, Conbee 2 interface, the Foxconn app, uh, have the device paired there, and then we move on to the uh, uh, platform to import this device into it. So let's go and do that right now. Let's go to the Foscon app and let's log in. And the installation, the integration is very simple. All you got to do is go to lights and you want to click on add new lights. Give it a couple of seconds and you will see that the light switch has been identified, each of them representing uh, a switch. So since it's a two gang, each of them represent a gang. And once that is done, all we have to do is stop it and you can rename it. And we go down to the next one. And when you go on to the main page, we go to edit and 
manage lights and we can add these over here save and that's how we've completed the integration very straightforward combi supports these uh, switches now just in case if you want to uh, move these switches to another room it's very simple to reset them as well one way is using the foscon app to go and delete delete the device from the interface or you could go to the switch and just keep the top switch press for 20 seconds and uh, this puts it back into pairing mode now let's go and see how we can import this into uh, home kit now in my case i'll be using hoops so i'm going to go in and the first thing i want to do is i want to reset uh, restart the service so with this what happens is uh, once it reboots it's going to import those two additional uh, uh, gangs that we uh, install so we have that uh, over here there's only one name it doesn't provide the other one this is because that it represents the switch itself and not the two gangs that are with it so this represents physically the switch now if i go to my accessories you will see that one of them is over here and the other one is over here. so there are two of them now alternatively when i go to the home kit you will see them that they are over here as well so if i show controls they'll be shown as a pair because there are two gangs so i can turn each one of them and they work uh, perfectly so with this way very simple very straightforward plug uh, uh, installation uh, tutorial install the device uh, add it to a zigbee hub and then restart the service all of the devices goes there and i really like this device and i'm definitely going to get a bunch of these from my home as well now let's move ahead and see how you can get these guys as well uh, using the Philips Hue and uh, Samsung Smart Things Hub. Now, if you don't have the Combi 2 along with you and you either have the Philips Hue or the Smart Things Hub, it's very straightforward when you are with the Philips Hue. With that, all you have to do is uh, put this device back into pairing mode. Okay, that's by clicking the top switch for 20 seconds and you'll see two lights blinking uh, continuously. And go to your Philips Hue and uh, um, discover devices and this uh, 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 identifies the device and you can add it. So very straightforward and if you are using the Hue plugin, either Hoops or Homebridge, you restart the service and all of those devices go there. Now for smart things, it's a little bit, uh, uh, there's additional steps. To do that, what you want to do is go to the login page of yours. And you also want to make sure that you have an ID. Now, I don't have any hub, uh, but if you have a hub and from my smart things video that you can check up over here on how to add in devices, it's the same way. We go to my devices, we click on a uh, new device, and I've also added the link to copy the code. So you want to click on draw, copy all of the, this content uh, uh, and then you want to go to new device since I don't have a hub I will not get the option of adding it but uh, if you have the hub you will get an additional uh, different screen to uh, paste that command so you restart this uh, you save you uh, you save and then you do the same thing into the uh, home kit you restart the service and uh, uh, it imports the devices so very simple uh, the switch is easy to integrate with your current uh, ecosystem and expose it to Apple HomeKit. Finally, there we are. Collaboratively, we have installed the Zigbee Zemi Smart 3.0 switch into Apple HomeKit. Now to keep all of this going, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to always follow along because that's the real driver, that's the real motivator. The more the merrier for bringing all of this content for us. And if you have any questions or doubts, Feel free to post your comment down below. I'll be glad to assist as well. And don't forget to always give that star for the developer's webpage because that's their motivator as well. So my friends, until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers, and happy automation.